Hi everyone, and welcome to another a and Horror video. In this video, we're going to be talking about killer clowns. Um, but before we do that, uh, first off, I'm Aaron. And I'm Ben. And today we're gonna to talk about what we're drinking. So Ben, why don't you go first? Oh, um, I am drinking, it's called a Fader Juicy IPA. Cool, oh, very cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it is. 5.1% and it is by a uh, company called Lane Brew. Lane Brew, sorry. Oh, is it good? Lane Brew Co. Yeah, it's nice. Um, it's quite refreshing, actually. I thought it was a sour, but it, it it's just got a hint. It's just like a, like yeah, a I don't think fruity so. IPA. Yeah, so it's yeah. nice. Cool. Not even, it sounds good. Um, let's see. I've got a blackberry swirl. Look at that. Um, That's so cool. Isn't that awesome, right? The alien, you can see like the, uh, there's like a snake. Uh, definitely alien. Aliens going on here. Um, it is a blackberry cinnamon cider. And I know I've talked about these guys before. It's Far From the Tree um, Brewery, and they only do ciders. And they are located in Salem, Massachusetts. And two quick things, since I said we're talking about killer clowns in this episode. Um, of course, I had to pull out my Pennywise geeky tiki. Awesome. And and my killer clowns t-shirt. Show it, show it. Look how cool yeah. it. Is. <laughs> <laughs> Such an old... I've got to get me some t-shirts. I've got to get me some t-shirts. Yes. Well, there's always time. That's what's great about it. So, um, awesome. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, the cider is very good. It is six point four percent alcohol. Whoa. <laughs> me and me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right. Let's go right into the movies. So, like I said, Killer Clowns. And the reason why we wanted to talk about Killer Clowns today is because we are both very excited about the upcoming Terrifier 2, which is releasing October 6th. And I know it's going to be in the theaters here. I'm planning to see it um, with some friends. I don't know about over there in the UK, Ben, you know, if they'll have... I'm going to be going with uh, Mrs. Ben, hopefully. <laughs> ah, does she know that yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> so um, <laughs> art the clown right the first terrifier and i've also got well it's a double feature but all hallows eve is on here as well when we first meet um art the clown uh, which, get... which is played by um, david howard thornton awesome actor and we what we did a uh, watch party we did train radio crazy train radio hosted a watch party um David couldn't make it, but he did send a video uh, in the yeah, beginning. Awesome right? video. That was pretty yeah, cool. It was very cool. Yep. And we had two uh, actresses on who, who were there for the whole watch party. Um, help me with their names. Uh, it is. Canel. Jenna. Jack, Jenna Canel and. Uh, Catherine Corcoran. Corcoran. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Yes. Oh, it was awesome. And they stayed. <laughs> homework, man. Homework. <laughs> I actually took some notes. Um I just didn't want to make it obvious looking down at the paper. Um, and it was awesome, right? They stayed on, watched the whole movie with us, and then they answered questions at the end. Uh, it was quite epic. Yeah, it was cool. Um, mm -hmm. It was uh, a bit weird seeing how, because we've done watch parties before, and I always like to see how the actors or actresses uh, react to when they're watching the films. Yes. And it, mm -hmm. it, it sort of amazed me. There's a scene in the film, obviously, with... Um, Catherine. Come upside down and a saw is. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah, Catherine. And she yeah, yeah. still so. Um, Catherine was like still so. Uh, s sort of shocked with it, really, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> I think she said something like, "This gets me every time," or "My yeah. God, I'd, I'd forgotten how gruesome this is." Um, but yeah, it was good. Quite an awesome film, right? Um, it sort of was. came came out of nowhere too. It was a uh, independent film. Um, I like the whole supernatural element of Art the Clown. Like he comes yeah. back and can't yeah. wait to see what they're going to do with part two. Go ahead, man. Yeah. No, I was just going to say, so um, I saw it um, was, it was one of the free films on uh, something to watch uh, when one of the streaming apps and uh, hmm. ignoring it and ignoring it. And then one Saturday afternoon, I had to myself, thought I'd give it a go. And it was really good. Really you good. See. I really enjoyed it. Have you seen All Hallows Eve? I haven't watched that yet. Oh, you should check it out. It's it's a, it's a horror. Yeah, at the start. It's the what? 
is the babysitters at the start. Yes. And they're watching the tape. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Maybe I have. Yeah, maybe I just can't remember. So he's not, I mean, he's sort of involved throughout because it's a horror <laughs> anthology. I think he appears throughout. Yeah. But then there's one segment, I think, like in a subway where he is a, a main character. And I, I think it did so well with audiences and it had such a positive response that we um, got Terrifier. Well, so, go ahead. Awesome. No, I'm just saying, we, we were, we're going on about clowns because this is what we're going to talk about today. But we've, we're going to choose some of our scariest clowns, mm-hmm. anyways. But mm-hmm. I think Art Clown is actually one of the scariest clowns I've ever seen in my life. It's the smile, right? It is, and the way <laughs> he sort of acts friendly and, and yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, he goes like this, right? So, yeah, he's good. <laughs> but, uh, it would have been awesome for um, the actor to join us, right, from we watched for the watch party to hear, like, his take on it. Um, but maybe another time. Maybe a future video. <laughs> yes. We'll see. We'll see. If you'd like to join, let us know. <laughs> oh, right. Well, like I said, so we wanted to talk about uh, Terrifier first because we both love the movie and we can't wait about the sequel. Um, yep. What do you have next, man? What did you want to talk about next? Um, we were going to talk about <clears throat> clown films, weren't we? Yes, but which one? <laughs> 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 I remember which. Um, How about oh, um, it? So I, I've, I've got the it movies right here. It, right. Um, I grabbed the original. The original. Um, I've got the th- nice. the, the the new ones. Um, but the original. Uh, the reason I grabbed the original mm-hmm. is because um, I just remember it the most, and it absolutely cracked me up when I was younger. Watch that. Oh, yeah. uh, it was super scary. Yeah, hold uh, it up. That I wanted to see. Okay, your cover is about. It's the same as mine. I've got. Yeah, I have another copy. I just can't find it. Um, um, I'm not too Tim, sure. Was it released Tim, as a movie? It was actually a mini series here yeah, in the cool. states, so it was on ah. t- cable television first. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't know about there. Was it the same? Yeah, two parts. Yeah, <laughs> two parts. Yep. Yeah. Um, and this copy I actually got from the video store that closed down in my town a few years ago. But you know, it's got the horror sticker and, and two day rental. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, phenomenal cast. Tim Curry, one of his best roles, right? Scary damn clown. Yeah, really good. Have you seen like some of the um, shots that they they took off screen where he was just sitting waiting for a scene? He's like drinking yeah, coffee smoking, and yeah, smoking yeah. a cigarette. He's just kind of <laughs> chilling out. <Yeah. laughs> Nothing to see um, here. <laughs> so good. And um, obviously a big uh, round of applause for Bill Skarsgård. As the yes. well, he's done such a good job. Yes. Really good. I, I really like the cover of the chapter two, actually. Yeah, it's cool. I will say, though, I much preferred the first movie of the remake. Oh my yeah. God, look, I got this at the video store, too. New release. I'm co- covering up the address ah. of the video store. <laughs> Even though it's not there anymore, it gives away my hometown. <laughs> not that it matters. How's it all consists? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, oh, small going in it. Um, yeah, sure. I think I know what one we're going to talk about next, but you pick. Was me because I'm not too sure. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, I can sort of show you. What was you going to say? Mm. That's it. Yeah. Oh, that's why I've been on Polar <laughs> Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> again, the clown in this scared me to death. Um, it's not oh like God, the yeah. main culprit of the movie, but I think if you asked anyone about Polar Ghost, it's uh, the clown. Uh, I would say the clown and the tree. Yeah, the tree. Yeah, the window. Yeah, oh, but the clown and it wraps its arms around the boy's neck and it just keeps going around and around. Yeah, and, and it's like um, terrifying. Right? When he's looking over at the bed, and you, and it's not there. And then when he sits back up, it's gone. It's like, and you knew it was going to happen. It pops you knew. Up, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he threw the jacket on oh, the completely. Clown. Yeah, you knew it was mm. happening. Oh, yeah, yeah. You knew it was coming. It was yeah, and you're right. It's such a small part in the movie, and it's not even a major component, really. It's just sort of a scare yeah. factor. Um, what did you think about... Well, here, I have a picture of the clown and the new one. Um, I can't overly remember. I remember I watching that. Um, really. Even. And um, <laughs> it's sort of... Obviously, it's a remake, and they've brought it into... 
uh, mm-hmm. bring it forward with mobile phones and all this kind of stuff. But it just didn't have the magic that uh, yeah. the original had. Yeah. I mean, there's always the argument, as we always we've had some comments, um, Steven Spielberg or um, uh, Toe Pooper, who made the film, who done this, who done that. Mm-hmm. But it's it, whoever made it, directed it. It's just oh, the original epic. And, Steven Spielberg, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. And Toby Hooper. Yeah. They both did it. And, and then it, it's like some argument about who directed. and, and But mm. um, it just didn't have the magic, the remake. No, I mean, often remakes don't, sadly. No. Um, I and mean, there's so many films that don't yeah. do well or don't come together well. And there are other films that just come together so well, it's almost like... The stars aligned and yeah, I mean it they work it, so well, you know. It done well. Um, but I think that was down to the cast. The kids were absolutely brilliant in the first mm-hmm, film. Mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. second one, awesome again. But as you said, there are remakes that um not mentioning any. Yeah, yeah no, I know. I, I almost <laughs> feel I almost feel like poltergeist is one they should have left alone. Like we didn't Yeah, need, definitely. I mean need a remake. Even, I don't even think the remake touched any of the sequels, really. I, I still think Pulp Ghost 2 is a really awesome film. Oh, yeah. The, guy, the old guy. Oh, Scary yeah. when he comes walking yeah, up the yeah. driveway. Yeah. <laughs> Terrifying. So good. <laughs> it, it didn't even beat that. So. Yeah, completely. Yes. Yeah. Um, all right. What's next on your list? I think we got one more where it's the same one we're going to talk about. Yeah, you go for it. Clown, right? You got this one? Oh, look at that. They're flipped. Yeah. Or is it just the mirrored? Is it the mirrored image? No, I think it's flipped. <laughs> They're flipped, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I have a slip cover. Let me see. Oh, it's still, yeah, it's the same. Do you know this was... Um, My so, back is different. Uh, yeah, the back is different. What were you going to say? This was so difficult to get on Blu-ray. Took me um, ages, and I mean Hmm. ages to find it, and I can't even remember if I, I think I might have ordered it, I can't remember if I did or not, or I was just lucky enough to find it somewhere. Um, I've got this, and it's got um, a lot of films over here, some really good ones that just aren't big, but you've got like antlers and stuff, can't even, Mm -hmm. still can't find antlers on Mm Blu-ray. Oh, that's annoying. And a really good film, I can't even find it on DVD, it's like literally... Antlers, really? Yes, it's it's nuts. But um, there's so yeah. many. Films. I'm gonna make a note of it. It'll be a movie I will get for you and send to you. Awesome, thank you very much. But, um, this. It may have to go through Jamaica first. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'll go pick up a town on the way. But um, I can't believe I didn't put this. I remember our disturbed videos because I was talking to you earlier about a movie I brought. So, um, obviously, we're yes. going to do, yeah, this, this was quite disturbing. I agree. And I did and put, it, put it in our disturbed videos. And there was another video, a uh, film I was talking to earlier about what disturbed me. And I forgot how bad it was. But, yeah, this was quite. Well, it's really kind of, I mean, it's scary on one level, but it's also yeah. kind of sad, right? Because the dad was just kind of trying to do well he, for yeah. his kid. And then he's like, I can't take this off. But and then it just gets crazy. Yeah. Go ahead. It's just it was such a good idea. Um, yeah. And it was um and um I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but there's a scene where he's in like um the kids' play area in mm-hmm. like the whole tube. Yeah. yeah. And, that, and I thought that was so good. And I I think that took like a little bit of a a Dark. step from maybe Pennywise it and it just had that feeling was good, but with his own. And there's another scene with um that I'm not going to spoil, but that was really quite. There's some crazy moments toward the yeah. end. It, the wheels come off. Yeah, it's it's yeah. not what you expect. I mean, it sort of starts out almost playful, kind of like he's like, "I yeah. can't take the wig off," and the wife's like, "You're crazy." <laughs> and he's the nose, and, uh, the nose, and it's takes uh, half half his nose off. Yeah. Oh my god! I love the, the whole um. Where you've got the video footage of somebody who, blah blah, won't tell too much, but it's like mm-hmm. there, Demon. Oh man, it's so cool. It's so good. It says it's an Eli Roth film. Did he? Yeah. 
Did he yeah. direct this? I see yeah. he produced it. Was it produced or was oh, it? No, I think just produced. John Watts uh, directed it. But it says from the Master of Terror, Eli Roth. To Which, explain uh, some of the moments you're talking about, yeah, like sort of um, some sort of a uh, graphic, like from Green Inferno type sort of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Hostel, uh, Cabin Fever. Yeah, yep, yep. So, some good ones. All right, so I've got two clown movies I'm going to talk about. How many do you have left? Um, or do you... I haven't got any more ch- picked out, but I know what you're going to talk about. So okay, cool. Just... So you can jump in. Um, yeah, we. Just... So of course we can't uh, have a killer clown. Oh man, I can't believe I didn't even video. Get that <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh no look, way. and I even have my favorite one, Shorty. Oh awesome! I didn't even <laughs> think when you showed me your t-shirt either. I was just like, oh, oh yeah. I've got, <laughs> got such a cool steel book of that as well. I don't even know where it is. So. Oh well, so good. I'll have another to time, it. we'll do a, another yeah. steel book video. Um, yeah. I mean, what can we say about this? It's just it's classic. It's fun. Uh, super They're fun. Like, Cute, cute, cuddly yeah. clowns, and they happen to kill people. Let me see yeah. what the inside slip looks like. It's just a little darker. Let's see, now oh, that's quite cool, though. If you prefer a, uh, darker. it's got like yeah, it's got like a cardboard um, on the front, like a cardboard stuck to it. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. But, um, yeah, so I mean, I don't really know what else to say other than it's awesome, um, cheesy. And Handmade by Robots did a really nice job with short. It's what we love. 80s, it's right? And and I love the um, the cotton pod people. They're yeah, big. yeah, they're so good. And then um, <laughs> you've got like the, uh, I like the fun, the fun factors of it, like you said, like it's horror, but you've got like the ray gun thing, sort of the gun. Oh, and yeah. And then yeah, Paul yeah. making the shapes <laughs> and the big. Mm-hmm. So good, and, yeah. and the two guys who drive like the ice cream truck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so good. And then the ship's like a big tent. Yeah, 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 yeah. The beginning with the old guy and his dog, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay, last one. Um, definitely independent film. I don't know if you'd be able to see it that well. Um, Hell House LLC. Again, another really hard one to get over here. One of the... It's actually kind of hard to get here. I was surprised that I f- was able to find this because it's I really wanted film. to um, do a review of it. And, you know, I'm yeah. all about physical copies. So, yeah. So, so good. Me and... Uh... Get that. That is the scariest clown. Yeah. Well, me, I'm not, you know, from uh, past videos. Down, down. Sorry, my dog's being very. <laughs> 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 I don't even know what he's doing. But, um, Maybe it's a, there's a spider. I, I just want to, I'm talking to a dog, not children, by the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, I, wa- I watched it, me and my partner watched it, and um. We was like, ah, oh, it looks. We to be fair, we watched the trailer, and mm-hmm. it was so. It just hooked me in. Yeah. And the trailer is basically the start of the movie, mm-hmm. which makes you really want to watch what oh, happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the people are running out of the haunted yeah. house, right? <clears throat> but I mean, the clown. Going back to the clown, he doesn't really do anything, but he moves. And he's, good. he's scared. <laughs> That one scene when he was like standing at the top of the basement and the guy's like, who yeah. did the, who put the clown here? And he looks away and then he looks back and the clown is turned and is facing yeah. him. And then it's all the just different. Oh, I didn't even notice. Look, there's the clown right there in the basement. So, and there it is. I think when it's standing at the foot of the stairs, it's hard to tell. I think we've got to go for either him or art clown, which are two of the most terrifying. The most terrifying. Yeah, I think so. Um, and this is part of a trilogy, right? Did you watch the other two? I did watch the other two. Um, wasn't as impressed with the other two as this one. Right. But I will yeah, I mean, I agree. Yeah. Anybody who hasn't seen the trilogy to go and watch them, it's definitely worth a watch. But if you haven't seen the first one, go and watch it because it is gold. It's it's scary. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. And it kind of starts out. I mean, the first time I saw it in the beginning, I was like, oh, I'm not sure about this one. But then, but stick with it because it is terrifying. Like I said, I was, I was hooked from the start with the video. Mm-hmm. I love mm-hmm. the whole um, where you had the news crew. Yes. And, the, and it, it just, it, it gave it a really good, um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want to say a real element. Not that you, you know it's not, but it's, it was there. And mm-hmm. I, I watched the film. It feels long, real. Yeah. It was good. Mm-hmm. And it sold what it was trying to do. 
So. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And it had like a twist ending, which I thought was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you know, the, as a trilogy, I thought it was nice. I liked how the third one sort of the second one kind of dives into the history of the hotel. I think. Yeah. And then the third one, yeah. full circle, in the, with the third one. All right. Awesome. So let's keep things moving. Those were the killer clown movies we wanted to talk about. Um, why don't we talk about some new arrivals? Do you want me to go first or do you want to go first? Before we go, um, I watched a film not long ago. Oh, I'm clown sorry. Yes, go ahead. I cut clown, you off. clown film. Yep. And basically, do you remember when the, the whole clown, uh, the scary clown fray, uh, phase was going and everybody was uh, clown sightings here and clown sightings there and everyone was scared? Yes. It's based off of that. It's a found footage. And it was actually quite good. So if anybody knows the name of it, please comment because I'd like to find it because it's good. We'll say more about it. What happens in it? Uh, basically, it's a couple um, and the uh, the bloke of the couple is like, he's wanting to do a video a documentary and he, he decides to do it on these clown sightings. Um, they go asking questions and find some stuff out about certain clowns and it ends up all mm. wrong and it's really good actually it's quite creepy so it's if anybody not knows, mockingbird is it is it mockingbird maybe a anyway i don't know we can look it up or um house is october built come to mind but i think that's different no i don't think it is it might that be uh, just clowns i'm sure <laughs> 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 Clowns, plural. Yeah. So if anybody knows, um, let yeah. us know. And then maybe we can talk about it in a future Definitely. video. Clown, Killer Clowns, part two. Um, yeah. So we were going to talk about... Uh, New arrivals? Yes. Yes. You want to go? Or am I going? Oh, sure. I can go. Um, let's see. I just got this one that looks kind of fun. And it is called Aqua Slash. Yeah. Sent me to try it the other day and it looks... Absolutely <laughs> deep, deep fun. I've got to get Stupid it. fun. And you know what? It's only 71 minutes. I haven't watched it yet. As you can see, I haven't even opened it. Um, your, killer, of... your killer vacation awaits. Yeah. It, it looks like the kind of super sort of silly fun that the new Winnie the Pooh horror movie has yes. about it. Yes. But this is a lot more fun. I, I Actually, it's one of those films I watched the trailer and I really want to watch it. It looks super good. Looks fun, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> um, okay, what do you have? You um, go next. Pick this up from uh, a pre-owned store, and it's a Wes Craven, and it's Carnival of Souls. So, oh yeah, oh my god, and you're keeping with the theme. Yeah, so clowns are at the carnival. I didn't even pick this up for a clown video, so it must have been a uh, meant to be. <laughs> Nice. That's okay. <laughs> but yeah, um, Wes Craven usually does well. Not to uh, mention certain films. Mm -hmm. Famous ones. Good choice. <laughs> you I, have, you know, I think I've seen it, but it's been a long time, so I'm not... You have uh, seen it. I, I haven't seen it. I'm not 100% uh, sure on if it's good or not, but I, I, I haven't me know. seen it, but it just looked quite... Oh, look at that cover. That's awesome. They're all yeah. trapped in balloons. And it's... Um, <laughs> And going to the DVDs again, so that was quite cool to find that. Yes. Um, here's one I've got recently, I've gotten recently, and it's a Vinegar Syndrome edition called oh. Hobgoblins. Look at the artwork on it, it's so good. I know I've seen this, but it's been a long time. I'm pretty sure I've seen this advertised. Oh, look, look. <laughs> look awesome. I've seen that advertised. Is it... Um, a full moon feature, maybe as well. Uh, could be. I don't know. Does vinegar oh, syndrome release there? Look at the case, so man. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? Between them and uh, the Scream Factory cases, so good. Yes. All right. What else you got? What's the last one? Uh, I'm going to randomly pick one here. I'm going to go for. I don't know if I showed this. The brain. Have I showed this? I might show I you. think you may have. I I'm like, let's, let's check that because I'm not too sure then. And we'll go for a new one. But, ah, as we was on about disturbing, I oh, was talking earlier. I bought this. Yes. And didn't uh, you just watch it? Is that a steel book? Yeah. No, it's just a yellow. Oh, just, yeah. That's cool. Well, I watched it again earlier. I've only ever watched it once mm -hmm. years ago. 
And I remember in, oh my God, how um, surprisingly good it was filmed. And um, kind of like disturbed me. I, this was what I was on about. I didn't even put this on when we done our disturbed videos. It's, oh, it yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's so um, um, quite shocking. It's disturbing, yes. Yeah. Almost, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm shocked easy or disturbed easy, but it is quite a powerful kind of. Movie. Well, it's it's a slow start, right? It's a bit. They, it is, yeah. There's found footage involved. Um, yeah. It's probably one of the first found footage films, at least that I'm aware of. It is, yeah. And didn't the um, director get arrested because they thought the actors were actually killed in the end because yeah. it looked so real? Yeah, he did. Um, and I found out, I watched a documentary on Shudder last night, and it is about fan footage, mm -hmm. movies, which mm -hmm. is good, because you have Shudder. I don't know if you've seen it. Um, I do. I haven't watched it yet, though. It's really good. But um, it's saying on there, and uh, they said the thing that's quite powerful, a lot, like, I mean, a lot of the animal cruelty in there was real, which you wouldn't get away with now, which Bobby writes is... Uh, a, a good thing but um yes of course because there's no reason i mean yeah. just for no, you shouldn't do no, that but I it and it, and... it gets a lot of criticism for that which makes sense it's just one of those things i mean um on we were watching a thing on i was watching that fan footage thing and um one mm -hmm. of the directors on there said to this day he still had questions about if something was real or not so which is cool you gotta be proud of that with a film i suppose oh yeah if people think it's real at the end well it's kind of like with um when they first released the Blair Witch Project they they advertised it as they really yeah. found the tapes and that's what happened right yeah and it was so but it's cleverly marketed like um with the posters and and, and stuff like that and yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah uh, no I agree I agree yep yeah I have um I have one last thing Go for it. um I got this book recently clown in a cornfield by Adam Caesar. I haven't read it yet, but I mean, check it out. It says an author nice. who knows how to make Double us part. afraid, Clive Barker. Awesome. Yeah, I can't wait to read it. That's got it, a little um, sort of, I don't know if to say, it slashed Children of the Corn look to it. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And he has a sequel that just came out, which I'm looking forward to read as well. Oh, cool. I'm going to have to try and grab a copy myself and we can talk about it. Awesome. All right, cool. Well, that's everything we wanted to talk about in our scary slash killer clown video. Um, add comments. And if there's anything else you'd like us to talk about in future videos, let us know and we will consider it. Awesome. Go over to our uh, page on Instagram, which is AMB Horror Movies. Hit the like and subscribe because it helps our channel. And um, as Aaron said, comments uh, are always welcome. And thank you to everyone who has subscribed. And watches. And we'll see you soon. See you soon.